Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy a Flask app on an Apache server. I'm going to be using Ubuntu. So, if you are using a different distribution or Windows, this video will probably not work for you. But if there's enough interest in the comments, I can create videos for those other operating systems. But we are going to be using Ubuntu in this video. So, you need a few things installed and the first thing is Python. I'm going to assume you already have Python installed on your computer. If you don't, it's not that hard. You can Google it and figure it out. Um, so the first thing that we need installed is Apache on this computer. So to do that, you type in sudo apt install apache2. And just a heads up, I already have these things installed here. I'm running a virtual machine. I installed them ahead of time because my computer, I don't have great internet where I'm at. So um, basically you're going to see uh, a different output from this, but it should tell you that it's successful. Mine's basically already telling me that it's, it's done. So first thing we need there is the Apache server. And second thing we need is the mod WGSI installation, which what that is, it's the web server gateway interface and it acts as a uh, system that allows for the web server to forward its requests to our applications um, written in Python, which in this case we're using Flask. So to install that, again, you do sudo apt install lib apache2 mod wsgi pi3. Okay, great. And then the third thing you need is Flask, which I said I assume you already have Python, but I'm still going to show you Flask for one reason because I ran into issues with this when I was trying to do it myself. And so one thing I learned is you can do sudo h and this ensures that your home directory is being used and not a local folder. I was running into issues where uh, when the Flask program was being run by Python it was not uh, or it was being run by the server it was not finding my Flask package. So this is a solution that I found that may help you. And I am running just basic Ubuntu, nothing special. So I don't know if you guys are going to run into this problem or not, but this is my solution. And there we go. It's installed. Great. So we are now going to create our very basic Flask app. I'm going to navigate to my home directory in my projects folder and I'm going to make a directory using mkdir and I'm going to call it flask app. I'm going to navigate into flask app. Now I'm going to create two files. The first one is our flask app itself. I'm going to uh, you can use any text editor you want. I normally use Vim but I'm going to use Nano for the simplicity of the, sim the fact that it's going to be simple for this video. Um, we're going to name it myapp.py and this I'm going to type in my file here. Um, I'm not going to make a Flask tutorial in this video. I might make a Flask tutorial in the future. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to explain much of what's going on in here. I'm just going to type it in. Okay, great. That's our basic Flask app. So now we want to make sure that it works. 
Okay, so now to exit Nano, I'm just going to do Control O to write it, and then Control X to exit. So now we want to make sure that it works correctly. So we're just going to type in Python 3 myapp.py and run it. And as you can see, we get a bunch of text up here. We're using a development server. Don't use it as production. That's what we're going to solve in this video. So we're going to navigate to the file. And here we go, and it works. Great. So now we need to create that second file that I mentioned. And this is going to be called the, we're just going to call it app.wsgi. So we're creating a WSGI file, which I said earlier is the web server gateway interface file. So this is kind of what's guiding um, our server to then redirect to our actual Flask file. Okay, um, we are going to import sys. As you can tell, this is it, it's interpreted as Python. Um, and so, in our path, we're going to insert the location of where our project is going to reside. Currently our project resides in my personal directory. We are going to define in this path the file that it's going to reside where the server itself reads it. This will all make sense in a moment. Okay, we're going to write it, we're going to exit, and now what we're going to do is, just a quick little recap, we are currently in my personal working directory um, where I'm developing my code. It's healthy to have your code written in your own personal directory and then copy it to where it gets deployed. So that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to copy it to where the server can actually read it, which is what we showed in this step right here on this line. We're going to copy our working folder to var www slash html slash slash flask app. So to do that, we are going to just run sudo um, cp flask, oh, excuse me, I'm in that directory, so we're just going to go back one directory using cd dot dot, and we're going to do sudo cp um, flask app, and then in the location where the web server can read it, and that is here. Oh, one tag we have to put on the end is dash r to recursively copy. Great. So now we're going to navigate to var www.html. As you can see, here is our Flask app. Next, we need to edit the configuration file of Apache. To do that, we're going to do sudo nano. It's going to be in our etc Apache 2 sites available 000 dot default oh, excuse me 000, 000 dash default dot config file so this is our config file and we are going to put some things in here to make it work So we are going to say WSGI script alias slash 
slash var www slash html flask app app dot wsgi so we are defining here where dot wsgi file is next we're going to create directory var www slash html slash flask app order allow deny allow from all slash directory so I'm not going to get too in depth on what a lot of this means uh, the big frustration I had when I was first doing this was I was trying to figure out how to get this to just work and so you know now that it's working for you at the end of this video hopefully you can go in the documentation yourself and just find this little specific thing in here and and you know figure out what you need to fit uh, you know what you're trying to do um, and then we want to put a comment here in front of document root okay and now we're gonna write and then exit oh, right exit and now we are good to go we have to we it should work here and what we have to do is restart the Apache server so we'll go sudo service Apache to restart and now it has restarted we will go here just type in localhost and you can see that our flask app is running on our local host okay so hopefully you're at this point if you are you're you're done you you made it work um, if you're not what you can do is view your logs to see what could be going wrong with your code um, to do that I like to use the tail command VAR log Apache 2 error dot log so what the tail command does is it shows the end of the file you don't have to open it it'll just print it to the console so you can see here I have no errors but if you have errors they will pop up here and you can debug them um, if you have if you're having issues and you want to leave a comment I can help you out um, you know just try and copy what's in here so that I you know you give me some description to help you um, one one small thing I wanted to mention in the um, config file that you can change is this first forward slash that indicates where on the server one like uh, in your web browser where this is going to show up so you could say like um, you could say like this hockey and write it exit we have to restart the server each time we make a change and if we do this you can see it goes to the default if we refresh you can see it goes to the default Apache 2 page but if we navigate to hockey you can see that that's where it'll show up so you can have multiple applicate flask applications deployed you can you, you can have it really far nested in here you know and 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 yada yada it's it's uh you know it gives you that ability to customize where your your application's going to be um so that's the end of the video um like i said if you have any issues just leave a comment and if i have time i'll, I'll get back and try and help you out um if you have any other ideas of of tutorials or videos or clips that you would like me to upload to help please just leave recommendations below I have a lot of Python and web development experience um, I do a lot of GIS work as well if that's of use to anybody um, yeah so if you have any ideas for future tutorials I like making this stuff so um, just please leave a comment I hope this solves your problem um, if not let me know and I'll try and help you out